Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Tribonet. My name is Manoj. Today, let us understand about surface coating technologies. Why do we need surface coating? In the absence of lubrication provided by liquids or gases, most forms of solid contact involve considerable adhesion between the respective surfaces. Strong adhesion between contacting surfaces nearly always causes a large coefficient of friction because most materials resist shear parallel to the contact surface as effectively as they resist compression normal to the contact face. However, some materials exhibit anisotropy of mechanical properties that is failure occurs at low shear stresses resulting in a low coefficient of friction at the interface. Anisotropy of mechanical properties or in simple term planes of weakness are characteristic of lamellar solids. If these lamellae can slide over one another at relatively low shear stresses then the lamellar solid becomes self lubricating. Hence if there is no liquid or gases for the lubrication then we need a solid lubrication and hence we need surface coating here in this picture we can see the mechanism of lubrication by lamellar solids here we can see the initial position and the position after sliding and we also can see the planes of low shear resistance allow relative movement between the lamellae and the lamellar crystal structure of the solid lubricant this first intuitive model of solid lubrication was formally stated by Bragg in 1928. Next, let us understand the mechanism of friction reduction. The second mechanism of solid lubrication referring to films of the soft metals on a hard substrate has been suggested by Borden and Tober. Since the soft metallic film is thin, the hard substrate determines the contact area and no matter how thin the soft metallic layer is, the shear strength of asperities in contact is determined by the softer and weaker metal. Consequently, the product of asperity shear strength and the contact area which determines the frictional force becomes quite low under such conditions. Here in the figure we can see the mechanism of friction reduction by soft films on hard substrates where A is the true contact area, tau is the shear strength of weaker metal. Friction force is given by the product of area and shear strength. Here we can see in the first one the, there is a contact between the hard on hard where the sliding is happening and A is very small where tau that, that's the shear strength is larger. In the hard and soft contact, area is larger and the shear strength is small. In the hard and hard contact between a coating, we can see that area is smaller and tau is small as well. Now let us understand the classification of surface coating methods. The surface coating methods are basically classified into three states that is the gaseous state, solution state, molten or semi-molten state. Under the gaseous state which is also called as atomistic deposition that can be classified into chemical vapor deposition which is based on the chemical and physical vapor deposition and ion beam associated deposition. All these three can be done under the plasma variance. In the solution state or particulate deposition, we can see it, it is chemical solution deposition, sol gel deposition or electrochemical deposition. Under the chemical solution deposition, it is further divided into chemical reduction, electrolysis and chemical conversion. In the molten or semi-molten state, which is the full thickness deposition, it is divided into laser, thermal spraying, welding or wild overlay, which can also be done under the plasma variance. Further, all these topics will be discussed in detail in the coming videos. Now, let us understand the commonly used surface coating methods. The first one is a physical and chemical vapor deposition. In this, we can do the thin discrete coating where no limitations on materials. In the ion implantation, thin diffusive coating where mixing with a substrate is inevitable. Surface welding Suitable for very thick coatings only, limited to materials, stable at high temperatures, coated surfaces may need further preparation. Thermal spraying Very thick coatings possible but control of coating purity is difficult. Laser glazing and alloying Here thick coatings can be formed, coating material must be able to melt. Friction surfacing It is a simple technology but limited to planar surfaces produces a thick metal coating. In the explosive cladding, it is rapid coating of large areas possible and bonding to substrate is good and it can give a tougher and thicker coating than many other methods. In the electroplating, it is a wide range of coating thickness but adhesion to substrate is poor and only certain materials can be coated by this technique. 
This is the reference for the information provided in this slide. And in this video, I have given the brief introduction about the surface coating and what are the mechanisms involved in the surface coating. Thank you for watching this video. And if you want to get more details on the topics related to tribology, follow us on our social media pages on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Tribonet. Also visit our website on www.tribonet.org.